Hi and welcome to chesstraps.net. We're going to take a look now at a delightful trap in the Bogo Indian. And this one's called the Leighton Stone Offside Bishop Trap. Why is it called the Leighton Stone? Because the Encyclopedia of Chess Openings has the Bogo Indian classified as E11. And Leighton Stone's postal code is E11 in London. So after d4, knight f6, c4, and e6, instead of knight c3, white very often plays knight f3. Black here can go for a queen's Indian setup with b6, or also a good move and becoming increasingly popular is bishop b4, the Bogo Indian defense named after Efim Bogolyupov of Russia. Bishop d2. And here there's many decent moves for black. Queen e7, c5, a5. And so we said queen e7. We've got c5, we've got a5, and we've also got bishop takes d2. And they're all decent moves. Let's look at queen e7. After queen e7, white might try g3 and uh, not swap off on b4 black might castle bishop g2 knight c6 these are all very reasonable practical moves and after castles here black might be lured into making a mistake and that's the mistake knight to e4 looks a good move wants to trade that bishop on d2 but it's actually a losing move and White can actually win in one of two ways. He can move the bishop back to c1 or bishop e3. So how is this losing? Can you see? Well, that bishop on b4 becomes offside now and White is threatening to capture the bishop with what we call the Noah's Ark trap. We're playing a3 and the bishop will retreat and then the b pawn will go to b4. It turns out that Black is powerless to stop it. If he moves the queen, for example, to e8, trying to vacate the e7 square for the bishop, white just closes the shop with c5, and that same a3 and a4 threat is restored, and black is losing the bishop and losing the game. Hope this video has been useful. Please send in your comments. Bye.